Let's have a nice warm reception for Sam Kinison. Okay, here we are, Sammy. Ah, there you are. There you are. Love you. Love you. Well, I'm sorry I'm late. I was supposed to be here a little earlier, but uh, I just spent the last two hours at a 7-Eleven going, Marble! Marble! Cigarettes! Smokey Smokey! You don't speak English! How the fuck did you get this job? I should have shot your ass in the name when I had the chance! I'm going around the country. I'm trying to get as many people as I can not to get married. I promise never to get married. I've been married, and I'm just trying to help. Okay. <laughs> so here's never been married? You never been married? <laughs> What's your name? Michael? Well, Michael, if you ever think about getting married, if you ever think you've met the right woman, you want to settle down, change your life, will you do me a favor, Mike? Remember this face. Because if you get married, Mike, that's going to be your fucking face every day. It's the face of every married man. He wakes up in the morning. It's the truth, man. He wakes up in the morning. He goes to the mirror. He looks in it. and goes, Ruff! Well, there's one good thing about marriage. I don't want to put the whole institution down. There's one good thing about marriage. Best thing about marriage is that these are connected. They don't come off. Because if they did, your wife would take it as soon as you got married. She'd go, you're married now. You won't be needing that. If you want this, it'll be in my purse or in the refrigerator. <laughs> what? You're going out of town with your friends? You can just leave that here. <laughs> oh, it's true. You see all these guys on the phone going, hello, guys. Yeah, listen, I got to cancel that. I can't make it. No, I'm not going to be able to go. She's got my dick! <laughs> no, she won't give it to me. I talked to her all day. Yeah, she got the spear, too. <laughs> well, she's upset. I tried, to, I tried to sneak out of the house with her this morning, and I was halfway out the driveway. She came running out of the house, and I had to give it to her right there in the street. <laughs> okay, I'll ask her. Hold on. Uh, honey, it's the guys. No, they just called to uh, say that uh, they're all taking theirs. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just, I'm just going to take mine because I didn't want to stand out, you know, everybody's taking it. Okay. She said no fucking way. Yeah, she said no way the dick stays here. Yeah. Do me a favor, if uh, yeah, you guys see me working on the yard and stuff around the house next week, you do me a favor, do you love me? You do me a favor? Kill me. Kill me. Strangle me, shoot me, run me over. Whatever it takes, I'm in hell! I'm just trying to help. I'm trying to just do whatever I can for people. Like the world hunger thing, the USA for Africa. That's, isn't that great? You guys hear the song? Nice song, isn't it? Beautiful. I'm, uh, I'm like anybody else on the planet. I'm very moved by world hunger. I see the same commercials. Those little kids starving and very depressed. And uh, you know, I watch these things on TV and I see those commercials and I look at it and I go, God, how cruel, you know? to see a little kid out there, and I go, fuck, you know, I know the, uh, the film crew could give this kid a sandwich. <laughs> you know the kid's not out there, uh, you know, filming a letter from home with a Betamax, huh? You know there's a director five feet away going, don't feed him yet! Get that sandwich out of here! It doesn't work unless he looks hungry! <laughs> but I'm not trying to make fun of world hunger. Matter of fact, I think I have the answer, because I spend a lot of time working it out, and, uh, if you want to stop world hunger, stop sending them food. Don't send these people another bite, folks. You want to send them something? You want to help? Send them U-Hauls. 
send them U-Haul, some luggage, and send them a guy out there that goes, hey, you know, we've been driving out here every day with your food for like the last, uh, I don't know, 30, 40 years. And we were driving out here a day across the desert, and it occurred to us there wouldn't be world hunger if you people would live where the food is! This is sand. Yeah. It's sand. You know what it's going to be 100 years from now, huh? It's going to be sand!